Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will do a review about Oxygen 2.0. I want to say upfront that it is a paid review. So Oxygen pays money to me to make a review. I think that's a great way for them to get a lot of publicity. And it will not mean that I will only say positive things. I will do an honest review about Oxygen 2.0. I've been playing around with it for a while and now I'm ready to tell you about it. And I say it, why? Because the question is, is this a page builder? Is this a theme or is it both? I will talk about that in a few seconds. Let's install Oxygen. I go to the backend, add new, upload a plugin. I choose a file and here at downloads, I select it and I open it. Install now. I activate the plugin and this is the welcome screen. We can do two things. We can create a blank installation and start from scratch or install a demo website. I opened all the demos and I will tell you that Oxygen is not only a theme, it actually is a complete site builder within WordPress. You have a lot of flexibility and let me show you what kind of demos you get over here. This is one of them. They have their own page builder within the site builder. So when you get Oxygen, you have everything you need within the site builder. Of course you can add plugins, but outside of that you can create your own menu and you can create beautiful websites. I start from scratch, so when I go to the website, I see nothing because we have to create everything ourselves. So I go to the back end, I go to themes, and I have the 2017 theme, but nothing of this theme will be used. So it does not matter which theme you have over here because Oxygen will take over everything. Let's take a look at the interface. This is the front end of the website with a nice sticky menu. I go over here to Oxygen and I say edit with Oxygen. And when you see this for the first time, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but you will get used to it. If I click over here, I remove the structure. I can add a structure, which I really like. So for instance, if I'm somewhere over here and I want to edit this whole area, I can go to the structure and I see this text link is within the simple hero. And by clicking over here, I can navigate to all the areas in the website. So I go to meet the team. And I want to change the text over here and there I am. I double click and I can change the text. That's how it works with the most page builders. Also with this one. When I'm over here, here at the left, I have some simple settings. I can change the color to something else. I can change the font size, the font weight. And then we have advanced over here. And what I like is when you change something over here in the background, size and spacing and all those other things. When you have changed something, you see this mark over here. So when you change the thing, you see a mark over here. That means that you have changed something in the advanced tab. And when you go to the tab, you see you change the spacing and the sizing, the typography. So in that way you can put things back really easily. If I want to zoom in, I click over here and you see this arrow over here. That means that if I'm, and with that arrow, you can navigate through all the elements in your website. So I click over here. I go to the upper one, meet the team. And in that way, if I have a division over here, a div, and in that div, I have a text and the div has no padding and I click on the text, I can click on the arrow up and then I go to the div settings. And with other page builders, you can have a hard time trying to select the item beneath the element. But over here, you just click here or over here and you can navigate around really easily. I like that. What I see in this page builder or in this site builder is that it is based on CSS and HTML. For instance, if I click on add, I can add a division. So we have the section columns and a division. And it's really nice what you can do with a division. But if you're not familiar with HTML and CSS, it can be hard in the beginning to work with this page builder. I have to say I'm working with this now for a few days and I've not much experience with HTML and CSS and it took a bit for me to get hold of everything. Let me put it this way, that the learning curve takes longer than other page builders. For instance, I had this image over here. You see image and I wanted to link it to the homepage and I saw nowhere where you can do that over here. So I was a little bit puzzled. Where can I just add a simple link? Why do they not put it here? But then I saw you need to have a link wrapper and put the image in the link wrapper and then the link wrapper can be linked to a different page. I never heard about a link wrapper. It's probably an HTML or a CSS tag. It took me around five minutes to link a simple image to a certain link. 
And that's what I mean with the learning curve. Now I know that I can do it easily, but it takes a while before you get to know everything, especially when you're not familiar with HTML and CSS. But the great thing is that the way this page builder is made gives you more flexibility to do whatever you want to do in your website. They say somewhere on their website, if you can make it in WordPress, you can build it with Oxygen. And that is because they have so much flexibility. Let me show you really quickly. So this over here and this footer over here is a template and everything within is made within the homepage. So I click on the homepage, I click on add section and then I have a section. The section is selected now so I can add something else columns. I can have three columns and then I say add and I want to go for an icon, add a heading and add a text like that. Normally I can use an icon box, but now I can do it individually which gives me more freedom to edit as I want it. So now I can select it, bring it to the center, but what I also can do, I click on the division over here or I go to structure division and I can bring this to the center like that instead of doing it at all individually. So over here I can say photography and I have text. Now I can select this, I can add a class, I can say my icon, add a class. Over here I say my dash heading, add a class and over here I can say my text add a class. So now I can edit the class and when I edit the class, all the elements which are linked to that class get the same appearance. So if I remove this and I duplicate this and I go over here, I edit the class, my icon, and when I change the color, it's changed everywhere and this is what I really like about this. Over here I can change the color and change everywhere. Let me go back to the icon. I can change the style to solid, change the background color and it will be changed everywhere. So that's what I really like. What I also like is that it gives you more freedom. I don't have an icon box. I have three individual elements that I can use. And if I click on add, I have basic elements, containers, text elements, links, visual elements. I can go to helpers, a header builder, I use that one to create my header, social icons, testimonials, pricing boxes, progress bars, galleries. So you have a lot of design possibilities. Here at the section, I can change the padding and the margin really easily like that. At all the options, the text, buttons, the sections, you have a primary tab with text color, background colors, and of course the options that are linked to the subject. So if I have text over here, you see different options than when you're at the section and you have advanced and there are a lot of things you can change and you have custom CSS. You can even add JavaScript and you see I change the background, the size and spacing and the layout. If I go to the background with other page builders, you can easily create a gradient in the background, a gradient overlay and that's not possible. Maybe it's possible using custom CSS, but it would be nice if that would be added that you can change things more easily. At this moment, I use a simple overlay color over here. And if I change that, you can change the style of your website really easily. So that's what I like. But it would be nice if there would be more options to change the website. Let's take a look at design sets. I really like that. If I want to close the basics, I cannot do that. I can click on helpers or WordPress. And we have a library with design sets. And that's what I really like. Here are all the templates and this list is growing. So if I click on Atomic, I can import a complete page. Let's do that. I click over here and now we have a complete website. And that's what I really like. And you see the flexibility. You can create beautiful things with it. And if I'm over here, I click here, I click on Add. I can also go to sections and elements. So I do not import complete pages, but only certain sections. For instance, footers, you can take a look over here. There are a lot of different footers you can add or people. If you want to showcase your team, you can do it this way or that way. And you just click on it and it's added to the website. And I think this looks amazing. They're making this library bigger. 
So this will help you to create a website really quickly. So you click over here, for instance, you browse and you can change the image to something else. Of course, it's a different size, but it shows you how easy it is to change this. I can change the name, Ferdy Corpusuk. I'm a online tutor. That's how easy it is. Change the link over here. If you add something, it is added immediately. So that's what I really like. Let's take a look at the responsiveness of the website. If I scroll down, make it bigger. It looks great. So if I edit this with oxygen, add all the elements, text, but a section, a header, it shows you how it will look on a different device. For instance, less than 480, it will look like that. So I scroll down for instance, and I take a look over here and I think this is really small. I can make it bigger. I can say I want this to be 200 by 200 or 150. And you see it's, it has the class. So if I change something here, it will also be changed over here. And I save it. And when I make it smaller, like really small, then it becomes bigger. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. So now I'm back and if I take a look, I see where I have changed things. So here I've changed nothing. And if I want to remove everything I've done for the mobile version, I just remove it. So I think this is a great plus for Oxygen. At this moment, I have a header and I have a footer. And since I do not use a theme, this is how the blog post looks. And it looks really ugly. But the great thing is that with Oxygen, you can make something beautiful out of it. I go to the back end, to Oxygen Templates. This template I made already with the header and the footer, I can add a new template and I call this blog post publish. Now you get beautiful options. I want to inherit the header and the footer. I want to show this template only on all the posts. I update it and I add it with oxygen. Let me show you the power of dynamic data with oxygen. I want to have an example, for instance, as a man thinks in his heart, that's a blog post of mine. You see nothing. I add a section and in that section, I want to add a heading. I double click on the heading. I remove the text and now over here, I see import dynamic data. I want to import the title without the link. I insert it and you see the title. I click on the section, I bring it to the center and I go to advanced backgrounds and I want to add a background, but I want to have a dynamic background. I want to have the featured image as a background. So over here at the background image, data, featured image, large, insert, and there it is. I don't see the title, so I go to the image overlay, make it blue, darker blue, bring it to the left a bit, and over here, I make the color white. I go over here, I increase the padding. I select it over here, add text. Double click on the text, make it white. Remove the text and I insert the date. Insert and now I see the date. But if I grab a different post, create a multilingual website, then you see the information of that blog post. So in that way you can create a beautiful template. I can also say posted on by and insert author display name. Ferdy Korpsuk, I can make it bigger. So that's what you can do. I add a new section and in that I add at WordPress dynamic data content. I click over here. I go to advanced size and spacing. I say max width 800. Then over here at margin, I change it to auto left, auto right. So it will be in the center. So we have the title, some information, the featured image, the text, and then here below, I add a new section. I add something from WordPress comment list. There are no comments yet, but they will come 
and then I want to add a comment form. And that form I can style. So I can change the border color, text color, change the border radius, the submit button, I can change it. So it gives you a lot of freedom to create a blog post that you have in mind. I go to the section over here, background, and I can say fixed. When I scroll, it looks like that. I save it. I want to check it out, front end. And that's how you can create your own template for the blog post. So basically you can change anything in the website. So to wrap it up, I think this is a great site builder with a lot of options. And because there is so much possible, you have a bigger learning curve. It can take a little bit longer to get the hang of it in comparison with Elementor and Divi and other page builders, but it gives you so much freedom. You can create your entire WordPress website using the Oxygen Builder. If you want to learn more about the Oxygen Builder, they have a lot of videos on YouTube. Over here you see they upload a lot of videos. Those are really recent and you can learn a ton of stuff. Also, if you go to oxygenbuilder.com, you have help and tutorials. You have support, you have a community. You can go to the manual. So you can learn a lot of this. I'm excited about this page builder. It's a new kit on the block, the, the version 2.0. So what are the costs of this page builder? I go to the website, I scroll down, and at this moment it is $99 for unlimited websites, lifetime updates, and you pay only once. If you take a look at the Divi Builder, they've also an option like that. It's $250. This one is only $100 and you can have a 30 day money back. So if you don't like it within 30 days, you can get your money back. You get a lifetime updates. You get world-class support. You can use it on unlimited websites and you can use it on websites of your clients. So I think this is a great deal. It says it's expiring soon. So to wrap it up, I think this is a great page builder. It can take a while to get the hang of it. And after you get that, it will benefit you a lot. I think this page builder is ready for the competition with the other great page builders. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please like it. And if you haven't done so, please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification icon. And in that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Have a great day and you will see me the next time. Bye bye.